Okay, here we go. And away we go. I think we're doing it. Are we here? Can yeah. you hear us? Yeah. I think so. Let me pop this guy out here and make it bigger. How many people are in here right now? We got... Oops. How come this one doesn't let you do a thumbnail? Well, I don't know. I think I could change it. Huh. Got 13 people here. Hello. Hello, everybody. Oops. So we're using the thing that we used last time, right? No, this is a different one. This was a... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we keep trying to use different um, streaming things so that we can try to do slow chat. Did you slow chat? Oh. Did I do slow chat? I think I did do slow chat. Yeah. Let me just let me just double check here really quick. Center the camera more. Oh, sorry. Does that look better? How's that? I don't know. Somebody said to center it more. Okay, let's just check the slow chat really quick. And turned on. How many seconds between each message should we do? Twenty seconds. Yeah. How's that? Oh, two hundred. <laughs> oh dear. All right. <clears throat> and slow chat has now been enabled. We did it. Yay, we figured it out. Heck yeah. Move, what did it say? Moves here away from the stairs. Oh, well. We probably should in the future. We just, there's like a, a shelf here, so we can't right now. But you got, how does it sound? Does it sound good? Yeah, do we sound okay? Slow chat is happening. Yeah, you guys. 20 seconds in between messages. We finally did it. Was that too much? Is 20 seconds too long? Happy I birthday. Like the chat's still going pretty darn fast. But it's easier to read now, so that's good. Oh, yeah, see people put said slow mode, is, it sounds good. Yay. This is nice. So the last time we were using something called ManyCam, mm -hmm. and you have to pay for it, and now we're using something called OBS, which is free. Which a lot of you guys actually um, mentioned it, so thank you. Yeah, and it has way more audio controls than ManyCam did. The only thing that I can't do on this that I could do on ManyCam was I could use my phone as a secondary camera. But we didn't do it. Yeah, we never did it, so it doesn't so, matter. So yeah, it's not like a big deal. I can, do other, I can do other things here. Like I can be like, here's us on Mickey and Minnie's Run. And then we come back. Well, that's funny. I miss Disney so much too. Yes. Oh, somebody said that they like my Mickey necklace. Oh, you're not wearing your other necklace. No, I couldn't find it. So I have this other necklace that Tim got me after Jackson was born that's Jackson's name in Morse code. So yeah. it's like the dots and the dashes. But it's some, I think it's upstairs. Sorry, I forgot that this was way over here. I need it. Oh, yeah, the baby. Here somewhere. The baby, he's sleeping right now, so we were gonna try to go live while he was still asleep. Yeah. I'm sure he'll wake up and be a part of the live show, though. Eventually, that's, yeah. what, that's what his favorite thing to do is. Oh, shoot, I didn't get my water. Oh, no, you want some of this? Yeah, let me have one sip. When are we going to Disney again? I wish we knew. Well, so everybody is like speculating when they think Disney's gonna open, and um, what do you think? Me? Yeah, like, what do you honestly, when do you think it'll really open again? Oh. See, that's a hard question to answer. So there are so many factors into it. Like we can't, it can't stay closed the entire time that the coronavirus is around. That's just not possible. It would, they would shutter, it would, they would be bankrupt. Do you think? Yeah, because it still costs money to keep the park there. They're still yeah. paying for electricity, water. They're still paying some employees. Right. And like, so they have to open back up. But when do you think that will happen? feel like June would be a good time to open back up, like but, June 1st. So the, the parks in France, I don't know if it was necessarily like Disney Paris, like Disneyland Paris, but it, France said that their parks won't open up for another three months. Three months? Yeah. Wow. So That's if intense. Disneyland Paris isn't going to open for three months. I don't know. Yeah, like what? People are saying they think late June. Late June? Um... I think July at the the latest. So, but I think there's going to be, it's going to be a totally different place. Yeah. Until the vaccine comes around. So like, we're going to have to wear masks. There's going to be hand washing stations all over the place. Mm -hmm. And, uh. You think they won't let you in if you don't have a mask on? Yeah. Will they give you a mask to wear? I feel like they would give you a mask. Yeah. 
Maybe. We bought masks. Like, we have some fabric masks, and we bought some, um, the other one, I don't know what they're called. Yeah, just like the, the, I guess they would be considered, like, medical masks, but they're not medical grade. Yeah, it's just like the ones that you see everybody wearing, like, like the blue the ones. ones. that they would wear at the nail salon. Yeah, yeah, so it's not like a, an N95. Yeah. But it still gives you some kind of covering. Right. And then we bought some fabric ones so we can wash them and stuff. Temperature checks. Yeah, I think that for sure. Which, like, I'm totally all for. Like, I, I don't mind, like... Here's what I wish they would do. What? I wish they would put x-ray machines in like Universal does instead of doing hand checks of each bag that comes through. That was something that one of you guys mentioned in the comments. You said, um, I would be more concerned because we were talking about the virus and, uh, like, right after... Or, sorry, not right after. Right before we had gone to the parks because we didn't realize that it was you know, like such a, a dire well, situation yeah, here. The, the day that we stopped going to the parks was the first announced day of a case in Orange County. Yeah. So we were like, okay, yeah, we definitely cannot go to the parks anymore. But we didn't, I guess we just didn't realize because no, the news didn't really make it. Yeah. They just didn't make it very clear, you know? So um, one of you guys were like, I would be more concerned about the security guards touching everybody's stuff and then going in your bag and touching your stuff and like, they're not changing their gloves. They're not washing their hands. And I was like, I didn't even think of that. But yeah, because like yeah. they go through your diaper bag. They go through like your stroller, your purse, you know, your uh, your like waist pack, like whatever you have. They go through it like right. all the pockets with their hands. Yeah. And, and like, the same who pair knows of gloves. if they were just like, you know, <laughs> yeah. going through here. Like, I'm not saying that Disney security guards are like dirty or anything but like i don't know if like maybe they had like a <coughs> yeah you know like clear their throat or something well not even that but if it's if it's like living on fabric and stuff and then they touch somebody's bag who maybe they have it and then it you know what i mean then they transfer it i don't know how it works i don't think anybody really knows how it works well, like I mean, that's a, like how it works transfers by fabric it can, uh, yeah, it can yeah. be on fabric and be, then can be transferred over to your fabric. So that was something that I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even think of that. And I'm glad that we stopped going after that. Yeah. But, um. Disney is still doing construction. They have slowed down on some parts of construction. So, uh, like the central hub of Epcot has slowed down, but like Ratatouille is still going. Mm -hmm. Um, and what was the other one? There was another thing that's like. Oh, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy and Tron are still going. But they postponed some things. Yeah, the, like, the central hub of Epcot. But there was the other, like, Space 2020 or 220. Didn't they postpone oh, I don't that? Know if, that was almost done, so I don't know why they would postpone. I mean, yes, they could. It's just kind of like back there and it would just hang out. I don't, and some of that stuff was coming from sites that I don't know for sure if they, like, know or they're just, like, speculating things. Right. So I don't know if it's true, but that would be so sad. I'd be interested to know what ha what's going to happen to Reflections. Oh, yeah. With the old... Uh, where uh river country site should be interesting yeah do you think they'll have the castle done by summer i don't know yeah they've been working on the castle yeah like painting yeah all they were doing was painting it right i think it's almost done so somebody asked what do you think they're going to do about flower and garden i mean it, it, it ends in june right yeah so i feel like if the park opens back up in june it just we there won't it won't be there like they're yeah like if it opens up after the end date yeah I guess they could extend it, like, when, until the next festival. When's the next festival? Flower and Garden, then Food and Wine. And that's I don't in... know. I think it's in August. Is it? Yeah. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, I would... I want them to extend it, but I also wonder how that will work as far as, you know, like, having the food out and about. Yeah. And then I wonder what's going to happen to Disney buffet restaurants. Like, are buffets going to still be a thing? I, I don't like... think so. I think they'll serve family style. Yeah? Yeah. Hmm. Somebody asked if we will bring Jackson back because he can't wear a mask. I don't know. That's something that we've been kind of like really talking about because you can't wear a mask until you're two years old, I think, is right. the, two the years thing. two old, yeah. So I don't, I don't know. Right. I mean, I don't think so. Yeah. I, I don't feel comfortable. Right. Yeah. Will we ever go to Michigan? Um, sure. Yeah. Why not? I mean, I have, no, I have nothing against <laughs> yeah. Michigan. We've never been. I'm sure it's very beautiful. Yeah, slow mode is on. Um, it is risky. Yeah, it's definitely risky. I think that it's something that I 
I'm sad about because I want Jackson to be able to go with us and I want to be able to go together to the parks, but if we can't, we can't. Here's the thing. Jackson is not even a year old yet. Uh, he doesn't even know what's going on. He's got so much time to go to the parks yeah. in his life. But even then, do you think it's a good idea? Because I guess by then we'll have Once like we a have vaccine. The vaccine yeah. As long as he can get the vaccine, I don't know what the youngest they're going to give the vaccine is. Well, I would thinks, imagine they would give it to him. Yeah, like if he got vaccines at two months old. Right. Yeah. Um, do you think it will impact Horror Nights? So that's another thing. Yes. Yeah. I think that there are going to be... It's going to be a different event. I don't think it's going to like postpone Horror Nights or cancel Horror Nights. No. But I think it's going to be a different event. I don't think they're going to have those... They're not going to have any like compression tunnels. Oh, yeah. They're not going to have any of those like the stuff in face I don't think they'll have anymore. Oh, that's I true. I don't think they'll have those like dividers between rooms that you like... You know, oh, those like hanging you, vinyl you sheets. Touch, yeah. So if you've ever watched any of our Horror Nights videos, you probably couldn't see the stuff in the face, but it's basically like... Um, it's like little strings. Like fishing line that yeah. has like stuff hanging on it that might like brush you and then you think like, oh, it's a bug or it's a, it's you a, know, yeah. it was, ah. something touched me. Um, so they, yeah, I for sure think they won't have that. Um, yeah, the, the vinyl things that separate the rooms. How will they separate the rooms? I don't know. Hmm. Maybe, Maybe they'll just they have won't. like, you know how in Universal Hollywood they have like um, a black hallway? Yeah. Maybe they'll just do that to separate the rooms. But they've already, the houses are already under construction. So I don't know if they're like far enough, like too far along to do that. I don't know. Yeah. There was another speculation map that came out today. Which, which seemed more real. Yeah. Sounded yeah. a lot better. There wasn't like an entire house devoted to Billie Eilish. It was just like Universal Monsters. Bride of Frankenstein, featuring the music of Billie Eilish. Oh, is that what it was? Yeah. Oh, okay. That Which makes more sense. Way better. Yeah. And happy birthday to Alyssa. I think that if we get a Beetlejuice house, that would be amazing. That would be so awesome. And then the other map said they were going to have a Gremlins house, which sounded really fun. Like the, it would be like the comedy house. But that got the new map doesn't have Gremlins doesn't on have it. it. Yeah. Yeah. So ding dang. Um. Do not come to Michigan in the winter. Okay. <laughs> I feel like it would be too cold for us. Oh, thank you, Tiffany. We really appreciate that. Um, the brand of sunglasses that Tim wears are called Schwood. Yeah. And I actually have a few pairs from Schwood too. I love them. They're awesome. They're yeah. great glasses. They don't They're... fall off my face when I'm on a roller coaster. <laughs> now, I can't guarantee that they won't fall off of your face. Right. Yeah, they might. But. Do they have the conjuring in Halloween Horror Nights? They were supposed to have the oop, they were supposed to have the conjuring one year, but uh, instead it was scream. Scream. No, purge. No, it was that was scream was supposed to be there, but then it turned out to be the purge. Oh, that's what it was. Okay. Right? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. But then there was a conjuring one too that turned out to be something else. I can't remember. Maybe it was uh that one with the the red-faced demon, what was that? Oh, insidious. I think it was. Was that it? Instead Do you of, guys remember? That's a good question. Which which uh, park would you go to first? Uh, probably Magic Kingdom. I feel like Magic Kingdom, yeah. Um, somebody asked, or somebody said that the Schwood glasses are a little pricey. I feel like they are pricey, but you get your money's worth. Like you've had the same pair of glasses for like how long? Uh, the newer ones are like a year. No, the old, the ones that you wore before we got the uh, new ones. I don't know. It was a very long time. They were like five or six years old. Yeah, but they're also handmade too. Like it's yeah. from a company in Oregon. Oregon. Yeah, so they're like made in America, handmade. So I think you kind of like pay for that part of it, but I like them. Would we go on opening day? That's something that we were getting asked a lot and I don't know. Yeah. Like, are you just gonna jump right back into the parks as soon as they open or are you gonna wait? I don't know. Cause that's, it seems a little like somebody said it sounds risky and it seems risky because we have a, a small baby. But at the same time, people thinking that it's risky is going to make it less risky. Do you know what I mean? Because there'll be less people there. I don't think there's going to be less people. There are so many people that had to cancel their trips that are going to have to reschedule. And you know, and I, don't, I don't know if they're going to reschedule if they like had a trip planned in May, they'll plan for next May. I mean, you don't know. Yeah, they might. They might want to go but like then there's also people that just that they don't have the money anymore. Yeah, that's the other thing that's been really sad about all this. Yeah, everybody's like, no, don't do it, don't do it. There still might be travel bans, like people from the UK might not be able to come over when the parks first open. But everybody, it's, it seems to me like the government wants to lift all of those bans like prematurely. 
Not the travel bans. No? No. I okay. don't think so, at least. Has it been tough coming up with home vlog content? Honestly, no, because we're just vlogging our day. So yeah. we're just vlogging what we're doing all day. Um, it might not be the most like super exciting thing because it's not like a Disney vlog or it's not like, hey, we went to like this museum or, you know, that kind of stuff. But we're still having fun with it. Yeah. It's, it's new every day for us because of Jackson. Because there's just, what? Somebody said they had a trip planned for May and they canceled and rescheduled for next May. Oh, did you? Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. They might have a limit on the number of people. I mean, I I would imagine they would like lower the park capacity. Yeah. Because what's the, like how many people can go to Magic Kingdom? Like 100,000 or something crazy? Uh, it's I, That's too high. I, I think it's 65,000. Are you sure? Yeah, I always thought that it was 100,000. And then I like looked it up one time because I feel like somebody told me that. And then I like actually looked it up because I thought that Epcot had like a crazy higher capacity than Magic Kingdom. But it wasn't. It was like... Epcot has like 75 or 70,000 and Magic Kingdom has 65,000. Oh, is that what it was? It was something, but it, and it was just like, cause every New Year's Magic Kingdom would shut down, but uh, Epcot wouldn't. Oh, someone asked, um, let's talk about things that are for certain, like the 50th anniversary. What are you excited about for the 50th? Tron? Yeah. Yeah, definitely Tron. Yeah, I'm excited for Tron too. And then like Guardians too, hopefully that's open. Yeah, Guardian seems like it's going to be like a super fun ride. Yeah. Especially like after ride Ratatouille too. <laughs> oh yeah. We've never been on Ratatouille. I know it's just a clone of the one in um, Paris, but we've never been on it. Let's see if it says what What's the, the longest queue you've ever been oh, in? It says about 100,000. Oh, 100,000, okay. Um I think it was Gringotts. Gringotts was 5 hours, but yeah. I feel like I waited longer than 5 hours for something. For Hagrid's? It wasn't. Maybe Yeah, cuz so Hagrid's was interesting because we, I went first thing in the morning and I was waiting a little bit for like the park to open or something. Mm -hmm. And so I wasn't really waiting in line, but I was, I was waiting still. Right. Maybe it was Hagrid's. I'd have to look back. I know five hours was Gringotts. That's the longest one I ever waited in. And it was actually really fun because we were there with friends and there were so like many met people in line. Yeah. We were like hanging out with people in line. And I think you like just become friends with the people around you. And then we rode the ride with them and um, I don't know. And it has like a cool queue. Like there's lots of stuff in the queue to look at. So yeah. um, I don't know. I thought that was cool. Somebody said that uh, Epcot's capacity is only 90,000. Really? So it's less than Magic Kingdom. It just seems like such a big park. It's huge. It's a mile yeah. around World Showcase. Do you think a night parade will come back for the 50th? Yeah, I hope I so. I hope so, yeah. There's like just night parades just like sitting. I know, yeah, like, why don't, why don't like, they use them? Like, paint the night. Give me paint the night. Come on, bring it it's in. It's like, all you have to do is just, like, <laughs> drop it in place. You're oh, good. everybody's asking about Jackson. He's asleep right now, so we're just trying to get as much time in with you guys while he's um, having his little nap. <laughs> A is for apple. A, A, apple. Oh, so the thing that was actually really cute is that somebody um, left a comment. I, I can't remember if it was in the video or if it was on Instagram. Somebody messaged me. <clears throat> but they said that they were so excited when we, because they sang the song in the chat, and then we sang it back to them. Oh, yeah. And they were like, that really made my day. Oh. And that made me like, I just thought that was really nice. Like, thank you. Google says Epcot is 50,000 <clears throat> capacity, even though it's three times the size of Magic Kingdom. That's so weird. It's huge. Somebody asked if we looked at the Harry Styles charity shirt, and we didn't. I forgot. Oh. I forgot to do it. What is it? What is it? Yeah, we got to look. I, how do I look at it? What's it just called Harry Styles? Harry Toast the Ghost Styles <clears throat> charity shirt. Oh, okay. So somebody was saying, don't forget about the mail. And yes, you're right. We shouldn't forget about the mail. So I Let's can't see. remember if we answered this one last time, but we had a letter from Tim. It and just I says, stay home, stay safe, protect each other. How much is it? I got to go to Harry Styles. HQ. Oh. Uh, I don't know. If it's not super crazy expensive, I'll get one for sure. Um, <clears throat> what is Toast the Ghost? Okay. So last... 26 bucks. Oh, yeah. I would get that for sure. Last oh, Friday... What does the back say? Last Friday, we did a live show and we did some Mad Libs. And that was one of the Mad Libs was Toast the Ghost. And we were... We loved it. So... Favorite water slide, like most favorite water slide. 
I think it's the Krakatoa. Yeah, the roller coaster at yeah. um, the water roller coaster at Volcano Bay. How do, How do you, you like, like the yeah. owlet? We haven't used it in a while. We were so using it every night. We were using it every night, but he was getting like, uh, like marks on his foot from it. Yeah, we, well, we couldn't tell if it was from that or from something else, but we just assumed it was from that. Yeah, from I, we couldn't tell if it was from one of his toys that he kicks or if it was from the owlet. And he's been sleeping so well that we haven't, we've stopped using it. Yeah. But we do recommend it because it gives you like such peace of mind knowing that they're breathing. <laughs> so. Yeah, and it was nice too because you could see like how his sleep was, like if it was like a good sleep or if he was sleeping like restlessly. Yeah. Oh, somebody said they love Disney Color Brain. Oh yeah. We love that. Oh wait, a while ago somebody asked where I got my shirt. This one is, you can buy this at Epcot. Yeah. But I got it from D23. So how's the Prosperity oh, Pig doing? We need to throw him in a lake. We gotta He's, throw him in a lake. He's uh, getting pretty gross looking. Um, somebody asked if we will start a TikTok, and I honestly, I don't think I will. I'm no. sorry. Sorry. I feel like I can't keep up with social media like as it is. I can't add another one. I'm also kind of weirded out by the whole like uh, amount like, of data that they're collecting. Oh, it's like mining your data? Yeah, and it's also like uh, something to do with the Chinese government is getting that data. What are they going to do with it? Oh, it's a good question. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know somebody I just, asked if we've played Villainous yet. yet. No, we haven't, but we need to. Oh, the fossils are good, yeah. Oh, we haven't finished digging we need, Yeah, we need to dig for some more. So, yeah, see, TikTok is not safe. Yeah, there's, like, government officials that have, like, made it so, like, other, like, government officials' families can't have TikTok. Why? Just because, like, the amount of data that it takes. Oh, I wonder what they're going to do. Origami. Okay. So yes, we're going to do origami in the next home vlog and we're not filming a home vlog today, but we're going to film one um, tomorrow and we will do the origami. I'm excited for that. Yeah. I'm excited for the video that we're filming today. Yeah. Somebody said Zoom isn't safe either. And I think that they changed some there of the safety just things. just an update, but yeah. also it's, uh, it's the encryption and I mean, yeah. I guess not nothing safe. is really safe. I mean, yeah. I mean, like, Google <laughs> like, is literally listening to us right now, so right. it's fine. Like, no social media is safe, yeah. I don't know. Ooh, what would be on your dream hot dog? That's a good question. Oh, man. So I was looking for a photo in my phone earlier, and I, found, I came across our trip to Tokyo, and I found the hot dog that we ate in Tokyo, and it was the most comical thing. What was it? It was literally a normal-sized hot dog bun, like, this big. And then a foot long hot dog on it. <laughs> and then it had like cheese and chili on top. Oh yeah. Just on the little bun, nowhere else on them. But it was really good. It was so funny. Encryption keys are owned by China. What does that mean? I don't know. Who, um, okay, who does so, number two work for? I don't know, but I wanted to, let's get into the mail a little bit too before the um, baby wakes up. So I can't remember where we ended off with the mail last time. But I think that we stopped at this message, this letter from Tim. And Tim sent a letter and he said that he's watched us for, he's watched us for six, almost seven years. Whoa. So by the time that we actually read this letter, it's probably been more, if he's still watching, it's probably been more like um, eight years now, which is so crazy. I cannot believe that. I just think that's the coolest thing. Um, and then he said that he was planning a trip to go to Horror Nights with his family and that we should try to do water park week, but with horror stuff. So like go to horror nights, go to Mickey's not so scary, oh, okay. go to like a local haunt, you know, like, which is actually a really great idea. So maybe we'll try to do that this year or next year, depending on how things go. Um, yeah. And then he was saying that he did a, a ripped an RIP tour, which if you ever go to horror nights and you can do an RIP tour, I, we highly recommend it. It's very like, it's like a really great way to do horror nights because you can really do so much. Yeah. Um, he also said that American Horror, Horror Story was the scariest house, or no, was a really good house, but the scariest house was Scarecrow. Oh yeah. So what year was that? Two years ago. Was that two years ago? I think, well, like not counting this year. So what was that, 2019, 2018, I think. Yeah. I feel like it was. But that was, that was a really good house. Um, and then he was going to try to go to Salem for Halloween. Oh, that would be awesome. The next year, which, yeah, I would love to go to Salem. 
Yeah. I feel like that would be a really cool, like, ghost tours and stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And then there was a house. I don't know if you guys watch BuzzFeed Unsolved, but they went to um, some, like, haunted location in Salem, and they did, like, a ghost... Like, not a ghost. Oh, yeah. Remember that? Yeah, yeah. Where they did, like, the... I forget what you call the it. spirit box? Yeah. That's, and they, like, had the... spirit box. <laughs> but I love it at the same time. Yeah. Like, it's so silly because it's literally just, like, scanning through radio frequencies and then you hear, like, some DJ, like, hey! And they're like, oh, my God. <laughs> that DJ just said, hey. Um, oh, somebody asked if Jackson likes swimming. And he only really dipped his little toesies in the pool. We didn't, like... Well, I guess he... We went kind of, like, up to his waist. We didn't go too far because we didn't want to get water in his, like, ears and stuff. Yeah. So we didn't put him underwater or anything like that. So he didn't really swim. Yeah. Um, somebody said A is for apple, but what is for B for? Baby. And, yeah, it's for baby. B is, is for, for baby. baby. But, uh, but uh, baby. baby. There are some really weird ones in there. Like K is for keyboard. Yeah. Uh, what's you, another weird one? Do you think about going to Australia? <laughs> sometimes. Some, sometimes. I mean, yeah, sometimes. I would love to go to Australia one day. Ooh, is Discovery Cove worth it? Yes. It, I mean, yeah. I think so. It is worth it. And there are different times of year that you can get better deals. Well, because the weather, it might be like rainy or it might be a little bit chilly. Yeah. So like if you're going in the dead of summer, it's going to be expensive. Oh, yeah. But if you're going in like January, and sometimes it's hot in January. Yeah. Uh, and the water is warm. Like they warm the water, except for not the... Not the stingray thing. Yeah, that's always cold. But if but, it's cold outside and then you get into the stingray thing, it'll feel less cold, I feel like. Oh, bring back the podcast. We really want to. Yeah. It's just hard to find time. I think we just need to... Whoa. Uh, Don't go to Salem. It's a tourist attraction because 20 people were murdered. Oh, no. Well, yeah. I mean, the the Oh, witches. the witches. Okay. <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, what do you mean? Um, What we need to do is we just need to say like... Uh, Friday night... Or Thursday night, we record a podcast. Yeah, so maybe we will. If we do, what should our what should we talk about? Yeah, what would you guys like to hear on yeah. the podcast? So normally we were doing like ghosts, aliens. And then we got into <clears> a little like bit Bigfoot. of like throwback stuff. <clears throat> oh yeah, we were doing like um, our favorite the 90s TV and stuff shows. Like that. And, yeah. Ooh, any Zoom games you can play with friends. We actually had um, friends last night. We did a game night with our friends on Zoom. Yeah. And we played a bunch of... Like, and we've been playing a bunch of Jackbox games. Yeah, so we played, there was like a murder trivia game, which it's not really about murder, it's just a trivia game, but yeah. the theme is murder. It's very strange, but it's fun. Um, and then we played like an alien, figuring out who the alien was. That one was fun. It was so weird, but it, it was, was the strangest. It was a good you, time. So Jackson was asleep when we were doing this, and he was like, he started acting up, so you had to leave during the very last game that we played. Oh, it was a t-shirt game. It was the most bizarre game ever. Yeah. You like had to design t-shirts, but you weren't actually putting the slogan and the picture together. Yeah. You just drew a picture and then later you wrote out a slogan and then the game, like the other people in the game mixed them together and like came up with a shirt. Yeah. And then you voted on them. We had a good time. It was bizarre. Yeah, it was really fun. The games don't come on Zoom. You have to buy them. Um, I think we paid like 30 bucks. <clears throat> Excuse I think me. we... Can I have some of that water? Yeah. Sorry. So we... We bought three party packs, and I think all together we spent like 40 or 50 bucks on games, but each party pack has five games in it, so we have 15 games. Do a podcast together with Crispy S'mores on Skype. I would love to. We haven't talked to them in so long. Um, everything has just been so, so weird. Yeah. So we haven't had a chance to Skype with them in a long time. See, we love the murder trivia, too. Podcast idea, your love for Harry Styles. I mean, I just love them. Jesus likes pizza too. Um, somebody said that it was their birthday and they've been alone, quarantined alone for a month. Oh no. I know. I'm so sorry. I hope that you have a happy birthday though. And hopefully you'll be able to maybe talk to some people through like FaceTime or on Skype or something like that. <clears throat> what is the name of your outro music? It's from the YouTube free music library. Yeah. And I think it's called Sugar from vibe tracks maybe i know it's from vibe tracks but i can't remember the name of the song um here you want to read some more of that yes letter i do yeah yeah sorry i'm sorry we're getting back to the mail um 
So, oh, they actually, so Tim in his letter was saying that he was doing a, um, like a haunted house in their garage, which oh, is pretty fun. cool. That's something I've always wanted to do. Yeah. Um, they, uh, the mayor of their city went to their haunted garage. Oh, that's fun. And then they came in January to do horror nights, whatever year this was. So I feel like maybe 2018, but this is Tim. I think so. Right here. Oops, my hand's over it, sorry. This is Tim right here on this side. So that was when he came for Horror Nights. And then this is, I think, his brother in their haunted house that they did in their garage. Is he like hanging from the ceiling? Yeah. Whoa. I know, this is like legit. And then this was when the mayor came to their haunted house. The mayor is the one in the center with the like suit and tie. The This one, right, right there. No. Oh, sorry, this one. <laughs> So that's really awesome. That's really cool. Thank you so much, Tim, for sending us this letter. We really appreciate it. And we're glad that you had an awesome time um, in Orlando for Halloween. And it makes me miss Halloween. Pineapple oh. lounge fly, am I right? Oh yeah, that one looks pretty awesome. I wish it didn't have the ears though. Oh, is it that one? Yeah. I don't love the ears, yeah. It's just gonna make it more expensive. We're gonna make it $90 because it's got ears on it. Ding dang. Um, we did get another letter. This one is a personal letter, so I'm not going to read it out loud, but I did just want to let um, Ben know that we did get your letter and we really, really appreciate it. And I'm just really happy that our, uh, like our, our channel can be a happy place for you. Yeah. And um, thank you so much for taking the time to write out this awesome letter and send it to us and tell your mom that we said hello. Hi, Winnie. Thoughts on how they're decontaminating the rides, the queues. I kind of wonder about that. Yeah, it's a good question. I think that hopefully they're doing it a lot. I hope so too. But I don't know. I think it's something that um, I don't know how, the only way that they could fully, cause there's the queues are nonstop. Right. You know, so like how do they, how do they clear the queue and de de <clears throat> sorry, decontaminate everything? I feel like every five people, there should be a cast member just walking through, like cleaning. Like wiping the handrails? The handrails. Because how will they do that? Like, that's literally the only way they can do it. Yeah. I don't know. It seems... But I know that when I go back, I'm not touching anything. I feel like I didn't really touch stuff to begin with. But I maybe, like maybe I, I did. did. And just, I just like random things. Like you're sitting in line, you like lean back on the, on the armrest or something. Or like you're just like lean back on something or when you're getting into the ride and you have to check your seat belt. How are they gonna do that? I don't know. Like, I feel like that's gonna be... Yeah. Hmm, that makes and me like, wonder. I'm just gonna be riding Peter Pan from now on and like... Cause they, they touch dust everything? <laughs> do it. Pixie dust comes, brings the arm, the lap bar down. Well, I think Haunted Mansion does it too, right? Yeah, the ghosts will lower the lap bar for you. Yeah. Maybe that's, that's how we'll that pick our rides, yeah. <laughs> I think we touch more than we think too. I think you're right. That's something yeah. that you don't realize until they said, don't touch your face. And you're like, oh my gosh, I touch my face so much. I mean, I've touched my face in this live vlog like 15 to 20 times already. I know, and I think it's okay to do it at home. Yeah, my hands, I've been washing my oh, hands. Oh, ultraviolet sanitization. That's a good point too. Can that be a thing? Like, I don't know. Can we just put in like ultraviolet lights? And is that bad for, cause you're like in a tanning bed at that point, right? I don't think it's like a tanning bed, is it? Yeah, you're being bombarded with ultraviolet light. Oh. That's what the tanning beds were. Hmm. Yeah, that's gonna be like a chore to make sure what not to touch and stuff. Um, so Jackson asked, when you do mail vlogs, can you do the packages? And we will get to the packages. We're kind of doing it in order right now. So we're doing all the letters, which hopefully we can get through today. And then um, we're gonna do the like padded envelopes and then we'll do the packages. Disposable gloves before the ride. The only thing about that that worries me is the amount of plastic waste. Right. Like how do we, can they make like um, the plastic gloves that are, you know what I mean? They, they can't, know That are the ones that can like be... Yeah, like biodegradable Yeah, or that's the word. I was like, disintegratable? That's not a word. I don't think so. And it'll be hard too, because like what what type of glove do you pick that... Because like, I don't know what everybody's allergic to. I know people are allergic to latex. Oh, that's true. So you true. have to have like a nitrile hmm. or whatever. That's but very true. are people allergic to that? People might be allergic to the powder that's inside of them. Yeah, I, I don't know what's going to happen. It's such a strange time in the world. Like... Mm. I, 
Also, all the cross contamination. Yeah. Man. What? I just realized Bandit's sitting outside. Oh, is sleeping. he? Yeah. I'll oh. be, be right back. Oh, no. Bandit was like napping out in the grass. Um, somebody asked what our snack that we are going to, like, that we have been missing the most is. And I'll, Tim will answer when he gets back. But for me, I think it's been the egg rolls, like the cheeseburger egg rolls, the macaroni and cheese and bacon egg roll, um, like the pizza one. I just think those are the ones I've been missing the most. Hand sanitizer before and after the ride. Yeah, that, I think that would be probably the easiest thing to do. Um, oh, what's your favorite extra hours event at Magic Kingdom? So we had a really amazing time at the Magic Kingdom after hours event. And um, I linked that video in the bottom of a bunch of vlogs recently because it's, it was one of my favorite videos that we've ever filmed. We had so much fun. We watched the fireworks from Seven Doors Mine Train and it was amazing. Like so magical. I've never, Disney is always magical to me. Like we always have a really great time and it always brings you back to like your childhood and you always feel so happy and everything. But this specific time was super magical. Like one of the best times that we've ever had. What was your favorite snack that you've been missing? Uh, my favorite snack that I've been missing. That's a good question. I just like a hot dog, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, it's like all the sweet stuff, like all, all kinds of different, like when I would go and I would do like all the sweets in yeah. the world. I feel like we have been craving sweets a lot. Man, uh -huh. our Easter was ridiculous. So many cookies and brownies and candy. Um, somebody keeps asking where we get our music for the vlogs and we get it from the YouTube free music library. I just, I, there's a lot of cool sites where you can get like probably better music, but I'm always so afraid that one day that music won't be royalty free Yeah. and then you'll get it like your video will be dinged and then it'll go away. Yeah. So, um, I just always use the YouTube music cause it's safer that way. Bacon on a stick. Oh man. Oh, that was really good. Um, yeah, the fireworks on Mine Train were just so amazing. Like, it was just so beautiful. And, like, I literally feel like I cried in that video. I can't remember off the top of my head, but I... I'm sure you did. It was just... I don't know. I loved it. Brownie cookies. That sounds so good. Like, brookies? I don't know, but they made brownie cookies. That sounds good. Oh, are we going to put Jackson in the logo? And we are. I just don't know when. It's not, like, when. top of the list right but now. But we will. We will. We will. For sure. <laughs> Um, so we also got our next letter is from Corey and Corey has a channel called living in Diz. And he was just saying that, um, he was liking our channel because it helped him to learn what to do for his channel. And they are, yeah, they're just having a lot of fun making their YouTube videos. And they said, thanks for making our channel. Yeah. And Cool. So they have, a, I guess, in this letter, because this is from a few years ago, um, they had put up a Mickey's Not So Scary video and they said that they did really good, like that it got a lot of views. So they were excited. Nice. Nice work. Um, and then, so thank you, Corey, for sending that letter. This next one is from the Middendorf family from Kentucky, Ooh. and they gave us some ideas for some future videos. I like this. These are things that we can't do right now because we can't go to the parks, but... We will use this list and maybe do some cool videos from it. We've done some of it. Yeah. Let Siri control your food for a day. Make the most famous Disney treat. I feel like we did that in our Disney DIY food videos. Yeah. yeah. So well, but what's what's the most famous Disney treat? Is it not a Mickey Premium bar? I think so. Right? What do you guys think? What if you had to pick the most famous, like the most iconic Disney treat, what would you say it is? Yeah. Let us know. Yeah, I'm kind of like curious to see what you think. What do you want Jackson's first food to be? Hmm, I don't know. Oh, At churro. Disney? Dole Whip, churro. Okay, we made a churro, Dole we made whip. a Dole Whip. We made Dole Whips and churros, yeah. Okay, Mickey Bar, we made that too. Pretzel, we made a pretzel. Cheeseburger egg rolls, we, we did, did that. that. Dole Whip, I guess it is a Dole Whip. Yeah. Huh. So I think we did it. A Mickey waffle. Mickey waffle. Yeah, that's true. Dole Whip. That's so funny. I didn't even think of Dole Whip at first. A turkey leg. I looked up how to make a turkey leg. We can't. It seems very difficult. Yeah, we can't do it. I wanted to do it. You don't like Dole Whips. Oh no, they're so good though. Eggplant. 
Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's so funny. Doritos? Make something from Batu. So we actually are going to be doing that here in the future. We have a video that we want to do. Um, but you'll have to wait and see. From Batu? Yeah. Okay. Right? I thought it was from a different place. Is it? I think it's still yours because we're going to Wait. Well, which one is it? Just mouth uh, it. Mouth it to me. <laughs> do it again. Oh, goodness. Yeah, spell it out for me. Spell it out for me. <laughs> blue milk. Yeah, we could try to make blue milk. Oh. Right? Well, what I were thought you we thinking were, of? I thought I was you thinking, thinking of, of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Sorry, we, do, we, we wanted to be a surprise for you guys. <laughs> you can do both. Cheese sticks. I love cheese sticks. It was a secret meeting. You guys were invited, kind of. Yeah. A Mickey Rice Krispie Treat. I love Rice Krispie Treats, but I don't know if that's... Is that like an iconic one? I don't think so. I mean, there's delicious. Mickey Beignet. That's pretty like Disneyland iconic for sure. Right? I We should try to make beignets. Okay. It's rude to whisper in public. Sorry. Oh no. <laughs> um, so... Um, oh no. Somebody, somebody caught it. They could see my mouth. They could? Yeah. What'd they say? Well, they were saying it. Oh, were they? What the heck? <laughs> um... Mickey chocolate chip cookies. I want a chocolate chip cookie. Oh man, we have some cookies in the refrigerator. Ooh, Sweet Peace World said, please have a pool party. And that is something that we definitely want to do, but it's a little bit cold right now. No, it's not. Well, right, is it not? It looks cold it outside. Is, it is literally 86 degrees outside. Oh. We had, we had the hottest day on record yesterday. Oh, that's true. You know what I think it is, is our pool, we have these, um, these like sails over top of our pool to get just some shade because it's so like sunny in Florida. And um, that's funny. Yeah. And uh, we, I think that keeps the pool too cold. I think so too, but it also makes it so that the pool Ooh. doesn't get uh, molded or mildew. What's yeah. it called? Algae. Algae. Someone said that we should make the ice cream bucket from Typhoon Lagoon. Is that the thing we should do? That sounds the delicious. Ice cream bucket. I don't know. It sounds really good. We don't have the bucket. That's well, like the main part. I feel like we can use. We have a bucket somewhere. We have dirty old buckets. Oh no. We could probably <laughs> we could probably get like a cheap plastic bucket from Amazon. I feel like we could figure it out. Um, make butter beer. That's something that we did want to make, but I think it's really hard. So we yeah. Got, we got to figure it out. We do have to figure it out. Uh, so the next letter that we got was just uh, some cool photos, some cool pictures, not photos, sorry, pic like drawn pictures. It says, okay, but first Disney World. Oh yeah. And they drew their little picture of the castle. And then this one says, eat, sleep, universal, repeat. I like that. Yeah. I think this is what we'll be doing later when we're allowed to go back to the parks. Charlie Bucket? What's that? He's from uh, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Oh, gotcha. Okay. His last name is Bucket? Yeah. Oh, okay. And his grandfather was a liar. Oh, no. Amazon is closed. What does that mean? They're mm. closed? <laughs> Excuse me. So this next letter is from Patricia. And I totally remember Patricia from Twitter. So thank you, Patricia, for sending this letter. I really appreciate it. And so she said that a couple of days ago, so this would have been a few years ago, actually, we read her comment on the mail vlog and she said, I can't tell you how much that meant to me. And I just wanted to say thank you for coming to the mail vlog. And we really appreciate like all of you guys that are here now for coming to the mail vlog. Yeah. Thank you guys. Um, she said that I finally quit my, I finally, oh, so she moved from St. Pete to go for her dreams in, for, of a film degree at UCF. And she said it was very hard for her because she was commuting from St. Pete to Orlando at like for her classes and right. that she was saying that our um, our videos were help was kind of helping her get through the uh, hard times oh. and that now she's very grateful that she's here now she was he she had moved here very cool Thank and you. she was saying that she was so appreciative of the content that that we share daily um, oh she said she's just really grateful to have come across our videos but yeah, so this is really nice. I don't want to read the whole letter because it is kind of like a personal letter, but I um, I just really appreciate you taking the time to write this. And we 
are so thankful that you found our channel too. And we're so thankful that you, I don't know that you sent this. This is really nice. Super yeah. nice. So thank you very much. And we are very excited to hear your updates on your film degree and everything. So hopefully we'll see you in here sometime soon. Somebody said that their film degree is propping up the table. Oh no, is it? That's what they said. <laughs> um, so this next letter is from Brock and he says that he's a big fan and he was wondering if he can come to see us at Universal for spring break. Um, so I'm sorry we missed you because I think this was from a few years ago. We hope that you had a really fun spring break at Universal. We love Universal and spring break at Universal I feel like is more bearable than spring break at Disney yeah. as far as the crowds go, right? I think so. Yeah. So we hope you had a fun time and then he said that he's going to have lots of fun at Universal. So yeah, that's we hope awesome. you did have fun at Universal because I think that that happened a while ago. I think so too, yeah. And he said, um, at the end of the videos, I like when you say, with that being said, we're off and we'll see you tomorrow and now it's time to pay the price. And then he sent this screenshot. Nice. Yeah, so thank you. We really appreciate it. Somebody Aww. said they're fanning themselves with their theater degree. Are they? <laughs> so when you get a theater degree, what are you doing with that? Like, are you... Are you working in like um, theater? But like, is it to be a, like an actor? Sure. Is it to be, Could be like, like set design? Is like it production? Okay. I just wonder like how all encompassing is a theater degree? Could be like a theater management degree. Okay. You know what I mean? I don't know. I've just I just always wondered that. Ooh, have you got any plans for Tim's hair? Oh, that's a good question. So we talked about how we were going to cut your hair, and then you were like, maybe I'll just grow it out. <laughs> yeah, I kind of want to grow it out. Like I. I, I don't know why, but like this is kind of an excuse for me to like just see where it goes. Yeah? Yeah. What do you think will happen? I mean, it'll grow. But what? Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. That was a little rude. No, but. I mean, I, like, do you think that you'll... Because I feel like you'll just have a mullet back here. I think so. <laughs> I'll, I'll like, once we get a mullet going, then I'll shave the sides. Yeah. And it'll be like long up top, mullet, and... Oh, you'll be like Steve from um, Stranger Things. Yeah. I don't have really, I don't have like a curly hair. I can oh, put says, that like Farrah Fawcett stuff in my hair, right? Yeah, you can. Um, Aquanet. Yeah. Somebody was saying that you, um, that the film degree thing, it depends on the school or it can be like many different things. So. Okay. Tiger King, Tim. Oh no. Yeah. Um, I read a, like a, a Twitter like thread mm -hmm. about a guy that had interviewed all of the people from Tiger King before Tiger King came out. Yeah, there was like a whole podcast about it. Yeah. Was it, was it that one? Yeah, it was okay. that guy. And literally insane stuff. Yeah, did you guys see that thread? It was really nuts. Like some of the stuff they didn't show on Tiger King. Right, like the fact that the guy that uh, was dating Carol in between her dead husband and the new husband mm -hmm. filed a restraining order against her. And mentioned that she killed her husband in that restraining order. <laughs> Do you guys think she killed her husband? Everybody thinks she killed her husband. Yeah. So when we went to, we went to another big cat place here in Orlando. I think we mentioned this in a, another home or another live show. But we got so many comments about this lady killing her husband. before. This was like years ago before Tiger King. Yeah. And I was like, man, these people sound nuts. But like, maybe they are not. <laughs> Look, everybody's saying yes. Yeah. Heck yes, definitely. And then... Uh, Tiger like, food. Oh no. There is literally nobody good on that show. No. Well, like, they're, like the, the ancillary characters, like the secondary characters, the characters, people. Yeah. Are There are some good people, like Saf is good, and then the other guy. The lady, the lady who worked for Doc Antle. Oh yeah, the, like, when that she was, was like 16 or whatever. Yeah, she was like exposing him. I thought she was the most normal of everybody. Yeah, and then... Um, that other guy that was saying how, how what's his name was just a, tr a treat. I wish I knew that guy's name. He oh, like had Travis. The, he, well, not I even mean, Travis. Yeah, but, but like, he was the blonde. He was the guy with like stringy blonde hair. He was the one that was pouring the gasoline. Oh, and like smoking a cigarette. Yeah, at the same into time. the other that guy. Yeah, he was great. Oh no, Carol is not the bad guy she's made out to be. I but I just feel like I don't know how you can read all of those, like. The uh, police reports, the restraining orders, the... Yeah. Like, how can you read all that stuff and not think she's, like, a little bit bad? Right. 
I don't know. I guess it is TV, so they can kind of make anybody seem any kind of way. But oh, the did beans you watch... and water, water did not bother our stomach at all. No, it didn't. Yeah, we never actually mentioned um, that, but they didn't. Um, and we never saw our neighbors again. We haven't been out. They haven't been outside at the same time that we've been outside. Right. So we haven't been able to ask them. But as soon as we can, we will give you guys an update on them. Origami live stream, maybe on Friday. Oh yeah, maybe we could. Well, no, on Friday we're gonna do the the last um, Mad Libs. Okay, more. We can do both, maybe. Yeah, we'll see if we have time. We'll do one. Um, maybe not on Friday, but we will do one. Yeah. If you're wearing hats or glasses, best remove them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that series was a train wreck, and I will have to say that it was. We didn't finish it because it was too hard to watch. Yeah, it was too sad. It really did make me sad. But um, oh yeah, so there was an, a bonus episode of Tiger King, and we haven't watched it. Yeah, with Joel McHale. Is that what it was? Yeah, he like hosted like a Q and A with them. Oh, okay. Kind of like a where are they now? Gotcha. Maybe we'll watch that and see what they say. Oh no, am I cranky? Am I being mean or something? Oh no. Um, okay, so this next letter is from Hayden, and Hayden is from Idaho, and him and his grandparents watch the videos every night. And um, we did like the, sea the seashell. Thank you for sending that. And they said that the seashell was real and it was found at a beach in Florida. Wow. Um, so Hayden was 13 when they wrote this letter. And I feel like now you're probably like 15 because I think this is about two years old. Right. And can you do... Oh, can we, can we do answer your, your mail in a video? So we are. We're doing that right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So thank you. We really appreciate you sending the seashell and we thought that was really nice of you. And then I think that this may be from you. I think so. The, the handwriting looks the same, right? I think so. So I just wanted to say thank you for me. Oh, oh no, I dropped the monitor. So thank you for making this um, picture for me. I really appreciate that. That was so nice. Oh, so it wasn't from, it says Tim, Jen, and Baby. So maybe it so was from... it has from, to be fairly recent. Like a year ago. Was just falling down. I think this was from a year ago. Oh, that was really sweet. Thank you so much, Hayden. I really appreciate that. Um, oh yeah, we turned on slow chat. We did it. Yes, you guys. It only took 17 years to figure out. <laughs> oh, that's a good idea to make a mint julep from home. Oh, okay. I would like to do that. And I would like to try to make the beignets too. But I think, so we're growing mint. We are growing mint. So maybe we'll be able to make a mint julep. We did see the Harry Styles Tiny Desk concert and it was really good. Yeah. Best road mic for bloggers. Uh, I really like the uh, Video Micro. Mm. It's easy. You don't have to have batteries for it. It still sounds good. That's what, and it's cheap. It was like 50 bucks. Which one did we, which camera? Is that the that's circle that, one? Yeah, that's that little, oh, okay. little one with the, the red. The little hairy one. Yeah. Um, so, um, citrus swirl from home. That would be delicious. Yeah. What are, oh, so people were asking what your tattoos were. And we actually did a video with all of Tim's tattoos, but since then you've gotten two more tattoos on your feet. Got knees. Yeah, so maybe we can do another video where you yeah, talk about them. We can do another one. Yeah, so maybe in a, a coming home vlog we'll do that. Do you remember your old horrible neighbor stealing your water? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes, we do. Very much so. I will say that I'm so thankful for our neighbors now. Everybody that we like live in the vicinity of is so nice. Yeah. And everybody has like cute little dogs and they have like nice children and they're just quiet and polite. Yeah. It's very nice. So yay, yay for that. <laughs> um, so this next letter is from Susan. Um, Susan and her husband watch the videos every day. And oh, and she said, congratulations on the baby. So this must have been, we must have closed this right around the time that we announced the pregnancy. Fun fact, uh, April 5th is the anniversary of the day that we found out that we were pregnant. So yeah, a lot of you guys were wondering what day we actually found out we were pregnant and it was April the 5th. Yeah. So we, it was just a really uh, crazy day. Yeah. Like we, who knew when we woke up that morning that we were gonna find out that we were pregnant. And then we promptly left the next day to go to California, yeah, we, Hawaii and yeah. Mexico. <laughs> 
excited. We like that was such a crazy trip because we were we just found out we were pregnant. Yeah. And I had just been feeling like nauseous and stuff. So if you watch those videos, there were a few times where I didn't go like to the early morning stuff. Yeah. Because I was sick. Yeah. So like when I went to character breakfast at what was it plaza or something like that i don't know but you went somewhere and i was so sad that i didn't go because i wanted it was the character breakfast the one yeah. where max is yeah yeah i think it was plaza is it and i was so sad because that's one thing that i always wanted to do and uh i didn't get to go ding dang it was such a blessing we we sometimes i still like i'll wake up and i still can't believe that we have a baby yeah like it's really just the craziest thing Um, it's been a year since Hawaii. Uh, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, somebody just found out on April 6th that they're pregnant. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. That's awesome. Uh Oh, it's going too quick again. Uh Oh, Oh no, it has been a year. I know. I, I really cannot believe that it's been a year. It's just nuts. Um, Yeah, I know. <laughs> Q&A session. So that's kind of what we're doing right now. Um, oh, can we order Disney scented candles? I feel like that's something that we have always wanted to smell some of the smells that are like the weird scents like Rome burning or like pirate water or, you know, like those kind of like strange ones. Um, we haven't done it, but I, I think it's something that maybe we could do in the future. Yeah. Yeah, do you want to read? Uh, oh, yeah. So, Susan. So, she said that she's not on Twitter, she's not on Instagram, but she decided to write this letter, and she misses handwritten letters. And I think that that's something that I really like about, or I liked about the P.O. Box, was nobody writes letters anymore. So, that was kind of like a cool, um, I don't know, like, letters are cool. I thought it was interesting. So, we appreciate you taking the time to write this letter. And then she said that we would love for us to come and visit um, Long Island. So we've actually, we've never been to, we've been to New York because we were taking a flight out of New York to Ireland when we got married. But we, um, we're, we're, we were only in New York for like 12 hours. We weren't there very long. So I would love to actually take a trip to New York and have a real, you know, trip, like a real, um, vacation there. She said, Oh, so she said they have two children. Their oldest is 19, and then their little guy will be six in July. So that's exciting. Thank you, Susan, for writing us this letter. We really appreciate it. And we really appreciate the offer um, to come see you in New York. Yeah. Yeah. This next one is from... I think it's Lisa or Lessa. Um, so she uh, has been writing us and I don't know if I should read this one out loud, but I just want to say that we got your letter and we got, I think you've sent us emails and stuff too. And I just wanted to say um, thank you for taking the time to write them. We really appreciate it. And um, yeah, thank you. We just, we really appreciate you taking the time. So thank you so much. And this last letter, so this is the very last letter, and then we're gonna get into the um, padded envelopes, and then we'll get into the actual packages. But this last letter is from Pat, and Pat says that, oh, so Pat, we missed this. This was probably from a few years ago, but Pat's daughter and fiance um, were following our videos for years, and they were getting married and, oh, I'm so sorry that we didn't reach, we didn't get this in time, but she was just saying, could we send in a, like a little um, message for their wedding? And I think we missed it, but we hope that they had an amazing wedding and we are so thankful that you guys watched the videos and thank you for sending in this really nice letter. They're big, huge Disney fans. So I hope that they had, oh, 
Dang. Well, I'm sorry you missed your letter. That stinks. But we hope that they had an amazing time at their wedding and um, have a, a really, like, a blessed marriage. All yeah. right. Thank you, guys. Yeah. So... Do you want to move on to, what do we have? Do we have like cards or is that all the letters? That's all the letters. Okay. Yeah, so we we got through all the letters, you guys. We did it. Nice. I know, I can't believe it. It only took two years. Yeah. Um, thank you to, if any of you guys um, in here sent letters or sent packages, um, thank you so much for taking the time to do that. We really are sorry that it took so long to get through um, to get to the mail. We're sorry about that. We just had so much going on with like moving and with now the baby. And so we really, um, we really appreciate you guys being patient with us. Yeah. Uh, cool. So we've been on for an hour. Have we? Yeah. Has it been an hour? Yeah. Do you want to, thank you guys so much. I see your comments and we really appreciate you guys, um, reporting that. Thank you. Hi to Michael. Um, oh, thank you for saying thanks about editing. So I, the one thing about the videos, doing the videos every day is that it makes, cause the other day we were talking about how, um, it was hard to find the time, uh, for as far as, um, vlogging sometimes with the baby, because the baby will be like needing our full attention or he was like teething the other day and he was having some like pain issues and everything. So it was, it was tough to, to do both, to do both basically. And so people were saying like, Oh, you don't have to put up a video. Like it's okay. But I think for us, like putting up the video is what kind of makes this feel like normal life, you know, right? where everything is kind of weird right now and nothing feels normal and nothing feels, um, everything is strange. So putting up the video, honestly makes us feel so great and makes us feel like life is so somewhat normal. So, um, I don't know. I just wanted to say thanks for saying thanks because editing is tough, but it's also something that I really love to do. Have we done an editing vlog? Um, we have not like a little time lapse yeah. of you editing. Oh, do we know what costume Jackson's going to wear for Halloween? I don't know. Uh, I feel like I want to make him like a, like an avocado. I don't know why. Yeah. But an avocado just seems cute. <laughs> um, what is your go-to theme park? I mean, Magic Kingdom. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I just started going real fast. Yeah. Favorite Broadway show. You know, I haven't really seen very many. Mm, I mean, I really like Les Mis and I really like, uh, Phantom was Phantom. cool. Phantom, yeah. Yeah, we saw Phantom of the Opera here in, in Dr. Phillips, and it was um, really, really cool. We haven't done any, like, recent ones, though. No, but I think it's something that when Jackson's a little bit older, you know, I think it's something that we should do. Yeah. I think it'd be good for him. Um, somebody asked how his ear is. His ear is doing okay. Like, he seems yeah. to be getting better. He's not, like, pulling on it. He's not, he wasn't crying as much. It's just something that um, I think it just needed, we just had to pass with time. I think you're right. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oh, will you try making any chicken guy sauces? Ooh. That sounds interesting. Yeah, because I really loved their um, hot honey. Yeah. That was a really good one. I feel like we could make hot honey. Yeah, I feel like we have made hot honey before. Yeah. I feel like we have hot honey in the refrigerator. We do. <laughs> um, oh, somebody asked if we have any sprouts in the Arrow Garden. Do we? Not yet. No. I don't know. I think it's going to take a little bit of time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hi, Luke and Jake. What is your favorite closed Disney attraction? Uh, I was talking with somebody about this the other day. I really liked World of Motion. Yeah. It was good. Like, very awesome. Yeah. Yeah, what was yours? Closed Disney attraction? Yeah. I... I don't know. That's a hard one. Maybe, like, Snow White Scary Tales? Scary okay. Adventures. Snow White's Scary Adventure, yeah. But that's still over in California. But it's not in Magic Kingdom. And right. I think it was a different ride, wasn't it? No, like it was slightly different. different, was it? Okay. Yeah. Um, ooh, I don't know. That's hard. Because the only thing I can ever think of is like Universe of Energy. And I don't know that Universe of Energy was my favorite ride ever. Right. And Great Movie Ride wasn't like my favorite ride ever. Um, what about, um, what about, there was, what was I trying to think of? There was something else. 
that you've gone on, and I can't remember what it was, that's closed now. I don't know. Man, oh, <laughs> um, another person was asking about um, the cereal. So we have stopped giving um, Jackson the cereal for the time being because right. we were thinking that it was maybe hurting his stomach a little bit. And so we, I think it's something that we are just going to kind of like wait, um, wait on. And cause he's still, he's, he's still eating just fine and he's still getting all of his nutrients. But, um, so but, I think, yeah. And it, I don't know. A lot of people were saying that we're supposed to wait until six months. Well, our pediatrician said that we, um, that we can do it at four months. She said that he was totally fine and that she recommended starting it at four months, but that we, um, we, I don't know. We just, we're going to wait and see. Yeah. I don't, it just, it seemed like he was having a lot of time, like tummy issues. So we're like, maybe we'll just hold off on the, but we were also like looking into a little bit of like that, that baby led weaning Mm -hmm. and like, he liked the food. Like he would, he would specifically open his mouth and eat it. Yeah. And then, uh, he would try to grab the, the spoon and like bring it to his mouth. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. So maybe we would like pediatricians say four months, but six is safer. Okay. So, yeah. yeah I guess so we'll I think we're, off. cause he's still doing fine. Like yesterday he didn't get any cereal. That was the first day that we did, um, no cereal. And so he, he actually slept fine. Like yeah. he, there was, I don't know that he slept any better on the cereal. Right. Uh, oh, it's moving quick. Yeah. So baby led weaning is just when they are grabbing for the food. I think so. Is that basically? I'll have to look more into that. Um. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's something that we're just gonna. Um. Water down juice. Mm. I don't know if we should do. We're um, not supposed to be doing like, water. Yeah. Yet. Cereal isn't really nutritious anyways. Yeah, I was, everybody was saying that and I didn't realize that. So then why do pediatricians say to use cereal? I don't know. That was something I didn't really understand. So avocado is what people are saying. Yeah. Um, I want to talk to our doctor about that and see what, what she says about the avocado. Cause it's, it's interesting. There's just so much that we need to like look into and research before we do anything. Um, I don't know. There's just, it, it's a lot. Yeah. There's a lot a lot of stuff with the baby that you have to research. So. No juice, just empty calories. Oh, gotcha. Can babies have water? I don't know. They're not supposed to have water. Not yet, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Cereal is just practice for real food. Oh, okay. okay. Oatmeal. So the oatmeal, we did... He liked the oatmeal and he liked the barley one. Yeah. He liked that one, I think, the most. Yeah. But, um, but yeah. Um, yeah, so I think we're like pretty much, we've been on for an hour, right? Yeah, I think we're going to, cause the baby should be waking up soon. So I think we're going to call it a day. And then on Friday, we'll have another live show. So we hope to see you guys here on Friday and we're going to do, um, some more Mad Libs. So I hope you guys are ready. Yeah. And then maybe we'll do some, uh, some origami too. Oh yeah, if we can do both, that would be awesome. But if not, we'll definitely do the origami in another live show for sure. Yeah. So, all right. Oh, Ooh. and next Tuesday, we're going to do the um, the padded packages. So those are the ones that are like, most of them are like ears, I think. Or okay. some of them are ears. So that'll be exciting. Yeah, should be a pretty fun day. Yeah, thank you guys so much for coming to the live show. We really appreciate it. And um, we're all done with the letters. So that's exciting. Um, if you sent a letter, thank you so much for sending it. We really appreciate it. Yeah. And once we, again, the, the PO box is closed at the moment. Oh yeah, it's closed. So I don't know if we're going to open it back up. I know we got some questions asking um, if we were going to do that and I'm just not sure, but if we do, we'll let you guys know in the future. Yeah. So thank you guys so much. We will see you guys um on friday and then be sure to watch the video that's coming out tomorrow yeah we're excited we're we're gonna be filming that it should be pretty fun yeah we're excited to film it so yeah yeah thank you guys yeah thank you guys so much have a good day stay safe out there wash your hands yeah and buy a harry style shirt
<laughs> Bye, you guys. Bye, everybody.